Have you ever imagined a bird capable of flying for months without ever landing? Or crossing the planet on a journey so long it seems impossible for a creature so small? How does an animal that weighs just a few grams survive storms, scorching heat, freezing winds, and thousands of kilometers of open skies without ever touching the ground? What secret allows it to fly non-stop, day and night? Today, we're diving into the incredible story of the fork-tailed swift, the bird that holds the record for the longest migration on Earth, a creature that spends most of its life in the air. From the Arctic to Southeast Asia and back again, it travels a route of over 40,000 kilometers a year without stopping to rest. But how is that even possible? How does it know where to go? What does it eat while flying? And why is this migration so critical for its survival? Get ready for an astonishing journey, one that blends science, nature, and pure wonder. A silent flight that goes beyond borders and reveals a life lived entirely in motion. If you love fascinating facts like this, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so you don't miss what's coming next. And check out my ebook, The Ultimate Bird Facts Collection, 30 Surprising Truths, available now for just $7.99. Links pinned in the comments. Let's take off. At first glance, the fork-tailed swift Apus pacificus might seem like a modest bird. Its dark feathers and streamlined shape don't draw much attention, but behind that simple appearance lies a true sky athlete, a creature perfectly designed for flight. Its body is long, lightweight, and aerodynamic. Its wings are narrow and blade-like, built for slicing through air with minimal resistance. This shape isn't just elegant, it's incredibly efficient. The Swift can glide for long stretches using air currents, saving energy while still covering great distances. But perhaps the most mind-blowing fact, this bird can spend up to 10 months a year in the air without landing once. That's right, it eats, sleeps, travels, and even mates while flying. Other birds alternate between perching and flying, not this one. Once it takes off, the sky becomes its home, its highway, and its habitat. Right now, as you're watching this, fork-tailed swifts are silently crossing entire continents above our heads, riding the wind with tireless wings, day after day. And their journey is just beginning. Every year, as cold creeps over northern Asia and Siberia, the fork-tailed swift takes flight toward the warmth of the south. Its destination, the tropical forests and savannas of Southeast Asia, Indonesia, and Northern Australia, places rich in insects and heat. This round-trip journey can exceed 40,000 kilometers, making it the longest known migration of any bird species. But how does it know where to go? Researchers believe the swift uses a combination of natural cues, the position of the sun, Earth's magnetic field, air currents, and even visual landmarks like mountain ranges and coastlines. It forms a kind of mental map, a built-in GPS passed down by instinct and refined through experience, and it doesn't fly in a straight line. The bird adjusts its route according to wind patterns and climate, taking advantage of thermals and aerial highways that offer more food and less resistance. It eats while flying, catching insects suspended in the air. It glides, it maneuvers, it soars, always moving. An invisible dance across the sky, guided not by instruments but by nature itself. How can a bird fly for months without stopping? The answer lies in one of nature's most fascinating adaptations. Studies on related species suggest the fork-tailed swift can sleep while flying using something called unihemispheric slow-wave sleep. In simple terms, one side of its brain sleeps while the other stays alert just enough to steer and keep flying. It's like napping while piloting a jet. At night, the bird glides through rising air currents, warm columns of air that gently lift it without much effort. During these peaceful glides, it rests, eyes half closed, letting instinct and wind carry it forward. During the day, it's on the hunt, chasing tiny insects across invisible air trails. It must eat constantly to fuel its endless motion. Remarkably, the swift only lands to breed and raise its young, 
Everything else, absolutely everything, happens in the air. No nests, no branches, just sky. While soaring across the skies, the fork-tailed swift also needs to eat, and it does so mid-air. It's a master aerial hunter, catching prey with flawless precision. Its diet, tiny flying insects, mosquitoes, aphids, gnats, moths, even small spiders drifting through the air. The swift doesn't chase them with claws. Instead, it flies with its mouth wide open like a net, scooping up insects by the thousands. Its flight isn't chaotic, it's calculated. Its wings allow sharp turns, quick accelerations, and subtle glides that maximize efficiency. It wastes no energy. A single swift can catch thousands of insects in just a few hours. That constant intake of calories is vital. The fuel that powers its muscles keeps it aloft and drives it forward across oceans and continents. While we sit at our desks or sleep in our beds, these birds are out there flying and feeding non-stop without touching the earth. This journey is not without danger. Crossing oceans, mountains and entire countries means facing unpredictable weather, dangerous predators and human-caused hazards. Tropical storms can knock a bird off course. Strong winds, lightning and heavy rain can make the air nearly impossible to navigate. But the swift has evolved to react fast, adjusting its route, shifting altitude, and pushing through. Predators like hawks and falcons may try to intercept swifts mid-air, but with speed and agility on their side, swifts are incredibly hard to catch. Other threats are more subtle. Climate change can reduce thermal currents. Pesticides shrink insect populations. Light pollution disorients migrating birds at night, and yet the fork-tailed swift endures year after year in silence above our busy world. Like many birds, the fork-tailed swift begins life in a nest, a safe place tucked into cliffs, buildings, or high trees. But it won't stay there long. Once the chick hatches, it grows fast. Fed by both parents, it develops feathers and flight muscles quickly, and then it takes a leap of faith. Its first flight isn't just a test, it's a transformation. Because from that moment on, it may not land again for years. Unlike other birds that rest often, the swift lives in the sky. It learns to hunt while flying, sleep while flying, migrate while flying. The world below becomes distant. For the swift, the ground means vulnerability. But the sky... The sky is freedom. That first flight marks not just independence, but the beginning of an extraordinary life of motion. What makes this migration truly awe-inspiring is not just its distance, it's the connection it creates. The fork-tailed swift weaves an invisible thread between the Arctic and the tropics, linking ecosystems, seasons and climates. It passes over mountains, rivers, cities, oceans, connecting parts of the world most of us will never visit. And it does so quietly. Most people never notice them. Just small shapes gliding high above, like shadows of the wind. But if you stop and think, it's humbling. As we drive to work, go to school or sleep, swifts are flying thousands of kilometers above us, following ancient routes written in instinct. Their migration isn't just biological, it's symbolic. A reminder that nature isn't still. It moves constantly, seamlessly, magically. Beyond its impressive journey, the fork-tailed swift plays a vital role in the ecosystem. By eating countless insects, it helps regulate pest populations, reducing bugs that damage crops or carry disease. Every insect it consumes contributes to a more balanced environment. Its migration also serves as a natural climate indicator. Scientists monitor changes in its roots and timing to track broader environmental shifts like global warming, pollution or habitat disruption. In other words, the fork-tailed swift is not just a traveler. It's a guardian of balance, silently helping the Earth breathe easier, small, quiet, almost invisible, yet essential. When the fork-tailed swift finally returns north to breed, it's not the end of a journey, it's the start of another.
After 40,000 kilometers of flight, it builds a nest, mates, and raises its young. Then, when the time comes, it takes off again. This cycle may repeat for 10 years or more, with the same bird flying the same routes over and over, stitching together continents with its wings. No medals, no audience, just instinct, survival, and an unshakable rhythm. It teaches us resilience, it teaches us purpose, it teaches us that even the smallest among us can achieve greatness in silence. If this story amazed you, leave a comment below. Let me know what surprised you most and what you'd love to learn about in the next video. And if you know someone who loves nature, birds, or just incredible facts, share this video with them. It really helps the channel grow.